The Jamaican society is nothing without its children. We are the continuation of life itself. Our successes are the nation's successes. Our light is Jamaica's light. Ladies and gentlemen, and not you the older ones, the Jamaica of tomorrow. Education is the only way out of your crisis in this country. There is nothing else that can save you. But how can you make education work for you? It begins with you. You have to commit yourselves to that kind of discipline that is going to be required. Each day, we await to see what trials we face to make our parents proud and to elevate. Sometimes, we feel that school is such a bore. We feel that school is such a chore. Parents say, school's great, no go. Well, we say, what do you know? All of you sitting here, you are the human capital on which the future of Jamaica depends. And so as a government, through this ministry and other ministries, we continue to make an investment in your education, recognizing that you are future leaders and recognizing also that it's through your education that we will ignite that sense of passion and that sense of civic pride. Many people did not know that poor relief cater for young people like they are doing now. And it is extensive because in constituencies like the one that I represent, there are young people who get up every morning wondering what will happen to me today. They can only think about the moment. But whenever somebody can inspire young people to think beyond just now, it tells you how effective those persons are. And poor relief officers, you're a gift from God that we should cherish and treat with the level of respect that you deserve. Our future is no longer relevant this is the future that we must talk about now. Those who we are preparing the wicked for, 